Today's subject's going to go down low, <laughs> down to the ground. Yeah, we're going to talk about grounding today, and it is thanks to a question, if I remember right, from Xavier. Xavier, what a great name. Uh, Xavier lives in Orlando, Florida, and he writes, Hey, Paul, how does the ground connection work on a phono stage when the power connecting cable on the phono stage itself is only a two-prong connection? And you know, on a two-prong connection, there's no third prong for ground, right? It's a great question. And what, what we're talking about, see here, this, this is a sprout. And on sprout, you can see, it's our little integrated, you can see this ground lug. As I turn this, I can slip my ground wire from my turntable so the turntable doesn't hum. Very important. And that's, that's where we put it. You can also use a screw on here or something because the entire chassis is grounded. But while this has a third prong ground, and this is all tied to that, how about products that aren't? And what products might those be? Well, to Xavier's question, it isn't just products with two prongs. I'm filming this on an iPhone, and it ain't got no prongs, right? Then iPhone's battery operated. So where does the ground for that come from? The, the answer is actually a little simple, and, and that's because the term ground is a misnomer. Because we think ground means the ground, right? Six feet under, right under there. But it doesn't. It can. Uh, this certainly acts as ground. That's where the term came from. But it doesn't mean necessarily ground. So if I have a battery-operated device, it too has ground. And if I were in the middle of, um, if I was out in a spacesuit orbiting around the earth and looking, I could still have ground. And yet there's no ground. So how does that work? Well, see if I can kind of explain it to you. Let's take our simplest circuit. Let's imagine that we have, okay, there's a battery. And up here you got plus, down here you got minus, right? And now, I didn't bring a little board, so forgive me. Now we're going to attach an amplifier to it. And you remember in, in an earlier series, I showed you that in a schematic, a little triangle like this represents the block diagram of an amplifier. So this is our little amplifier. And here is our gazina, and here's our gazada, right? And this amplifier is going to be powered by our little battery. And let's just say this is a 9-volt battery. All right. So in this circuit, which I could hold in my hand, where's ground? Well, ground is where I want to reference it. And in this case, I'm going to reference it down here to the minus. So how do I do that? And what does that mean? It means that this is going to be the lowest point in my circuit. So if I want this to be ground, and this is the input, I just simply have to reference it. And why I do that? By tying it through a resistor to what I'm going to call ground. There's a little, that little rake thing uh, is the symbol for ground. Now I'm referenced. So if I, if I were to put in an audio signal here, it would, the, the, the voltage of the signal would conduct between here and here. So my signal generator is one side's going to connect here and the other side's going to connect here. Or maybe that's my cartridge. Maybe that's my phono cartridge, right? And I, that would just, one end of the phono cartridge would go here on the amplifier's input, and the other one would go here. And that's how we ground the input of that. And this, this little chingaderas on the, on the back here, that's going to go, if this were a battery-operated unit, that's going to also tie right down here. And my output, so when I, I want to have a set of headphones or something, one side, one side of the headphone is going to go here, and the other end is going to go right here. Because that is ground. Ground is the lowest point in a circuit that the designer has deemed ground. Now, not to confuse you, I could flip this around and make ground the plus. And, but anyway, let's, let's not do that. That's, <laughs> I don't want to confuse people. So ground is not ground necessarily, though it can be. Ground is the lowest point in a circuit. Hope that helps. Great question, and thank you for asking it. Bye.